بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هاد إله وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله This is Dr. Khaled Dossary with you today just uh, sharing with you a reminder that is really very important and this reminder I would really remind myself and all of you, especially those who are in the field of da'wah, that at the end of the day, no matter how much effort you put, no matter how much your competence is, no matter how much you're qualified, no matter how much, how many certificates you have or degrees, remember, لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله. That the strength at the end of the day and the power and the might is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala endows you with these talents and capabilities that you need to always resort to Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling you that He is greater and He is the one with the power, He is the one with the might. Meaning what? That we need to make sure that we always purify our intention and whatever we do we have to be really sincere for the sake of Allah. You might be training a lot of people, they might be training you, you might be learning and you might be learning from each other and of course this is really very important but at the end of the day you need to always seek this with humbleness and submission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because the meaning of a Muslim is the one who submits himself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, peacefully and he, uh, you surrender yourself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because you are a Muslim after all so you have to manifest the word Muslim in your actions, in your words, in your sincerity for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every action you do Every word you say and every intention should be for the sake of pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because at the end of the day, we have to do our best in trying to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by really fulfilling the commandments and applying the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this life and making sure that we do it uh, per the uh, sunnah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. These are very important parameters and factors that will make your da'wah inshallah acceptable. You know, your intention is very important. Your sincerity is paramount, is the most important thing so that you will have an impact on whoever you're going to be talking with. Now, remember, and I always say this, making da'wah to other people is making da'wah to you. And the more you make da'wah, this is a cleansing process that will make you a better, process, uh, uh, that will make you a better uh, person. Now, the beauty of uh, the 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 the